open image open the interested image then calibrate so first remove the existing scale by clicking click to remove scale and you can see pixel notice here the dimension of this image is 1280 by 1024 pixels and it hasn't been calibrated yet let's uh, zoom into the scale bath so this is 100 nanometer shift that's about right analyze set is scale 139 and we know it's 100 nanometer ok so you can notice here the scale has been changed and for particle size analysis evenly illuminated image is very important let's choose this area let's duplicate it Let's do let's apply band pass filter. It will flatten the image to some extent and will reveal some details and you will be noticing some change. And then we can threshold the image and you can see this is our original size of the red nanoparticles and to what extent is ok to threshold you can even zoom into the image and this looks that's about right you can apply and then you can analyze particles in the beginning you can just look at the outlines only so you can see some small particles are over at the edges they are basically noise so what you can do is you can go drawing tools and you can erase them if you want similarly you can do here as well and then you what you can do is you can increase the minimum size limit and you can also increase the circularity of the lower limit of the circularity and it excluded a lot but still there are few and in the same way you can again clean your image until you feel it's right then what you can do is analyze particles display result okay so you have total 533 nanoparticles and file save
then you can open. Here is the area in nanometer square. So radius squared is equals to area divided by pi. radius which is equal to square root of radius square and diameter which is equals to 2 times radius so diameter is in nanometer Now you can either make a histogram using Excel or you can use other softwares like here Origin. Then make a histogram. So x axis is diameter. y axis is frequency then go to bin worksheet generate a scatter plot again x axis is diameter y axis is frequency then fit Gaussian and this XC is the mean particle size And this W is standard deviation. So mean particle size is around 12.4 or 12.5 nanometer. And standard deviation 1.7 nanometer.